Hello, STAIR students. I hope you are feeling good today, and I hope that your hands are feeling nice and loose and you're ready to write because we are, and you got it, writing another paragraph again today. I'm so excited because the more we practice writing paragraphs, the better writers we become. So we're going to do our lesson just like we did last week. We're going to review the parts of a paragraph. We're going to write our draft together, and then we are going to publish our piece on our own. So let's jump right into reviewing the parts of a paragraph. And I'm going to go ahead and ask you some questions, give you some time to answer, and then you can see if you get it right. So the first question I want to ask you is how many sentences does a good quality paragraph have? If you said five, you are correct to give yourself a pat on the back. Great job. Now, what is the first sentence of a paragraph? called? What is the first sentence of a paragraph called? That's right. It is a topic sentence. And if you said topic sentence, give yourself a pat on the back. And my last question for you today is what is the purpose? That means why does a paragraph have a topic sentence? And the answer is because a topic sentence introduces the readers to what they're going to read about. So if you got that right, give yourself a pat on the back. Good job today, guys. So we are going to review the rest of the parts. So we have a topic sentence, which introduces our readers to what we're writing about. And then you have three supporting sentences. And the supporting sentences provide extra details to your topic, what it is that you're writing about and explaining it, explaining it a little bit more for our readers. And the last one, or the last sentence that we're gonna write is a concluding sentence. And this really just wraps up what you're talking about and lets your reader know that your, your writing is coming to an end. So now that we remember the parts of a paragraph, I am gonna take this piece of paper and put it right over here for my reference as I write, just so I remember what five sentences I need to have. And don't forget that you have a sheet that looks just like this in your writing journal. If you need to re reference it at any point, look back and make sure that you have all your sentences. So the topic that Stair assigned today is my favorite game or toy, whichever one you want to write about. I chose game. So now I'm writing my draft. I'm writing a practice piece before I write my final paragraph. And I'm going to think for a second. What is my favorite game? I got one, I got one, I got a good one. So my favorite game is called Up, Stop, Down, Go. And it's a game I used to play when I was in school. So I think I got my topic sentence already, which is very simple today. My favorite game is Up, Stop, Down, Go. I'm gonna go ahead and write it. So I know I need a capital letter. Ooh, favorite's a tricky word to spell, but it's right up here. So I know it's in my title, so I can copy it, my favorite. Game is there too. Oops. Well, I'll come back. I see I see a mistake. I don't know if you caught it. My favorite game is, and I am going to write my the name of my favorite game, but it's a name, which is a proper noun, so I know it needs a what? A capital letter, that's correct. So my favorite game is up, stop, down go. And I'm going to reread my sentence, make sure it's correct and see if there's any changes I want. My favorite, oh, I see a change that I need to make. I gave this F a capital letter. It is not at the beginning of the sentence. It is not a proper noun. It is not the name of a person, place, or thing. So I'm going to fix this and change it to lowercase f. I got a little capital letter happy. So my favorite game is up, stop, down, go. My topic sentence looks right. It sounds right. I'm going to write my first supporting sentence. So um, I'm going to tell my readers that this is a game my teacher played with us. So I'm going to write the name of the game again, which gets a capital letter. Up, stop, down, go is a game my teacher played. Okay, I'm gonna read it one more time. Up, stop, down, go is a game my teacher plays. Forgot a period. This is why we do a draft. Okay, now I'm gonna move to my supporting sentence 
number two. So I still want to give more details about the game up, stop, down, go. So I think I'm going to tell my reader how to play the game because that's good information for them to have. So when my teacher, when she says up, you go up. And when she sits down, you touch the floor. So I'm going to tell that to my reader. When she says up, this doesn't get a capital letter because it's what she's saying. It's not, it's not the name. Um, when she says up, you put your hands up and when I lost my train of thought, that's okay. If that happens to you, just reread what you wrote. When she says up, you put your hands up. And when she says down, you touch the floor. And I ran out of room on my lines that were provided for me, but that's okay. I just went right underneath. Okay, supporting sentence number three. Um, there's more rules to the game. So I said what happens when you go up and when you go down, but I didn't say what happens when you stop or go. When she says, she says, go. When she says go, you run. And when she says, stop. You stand still, period, okay? Now I gotta wrap up my paragraph with a concluding sentence. I have to let my reader know I'm coming to an end. I got, I got the perfect concluding sentence. Up, stop, let me go back and put that comma, capital letters, because it's the name of the game. Up, stop, down, Go is my favorite game. Period. Okay. Now, before I get ready to publish my piece, I'm going to reread it, make sure it makes sense, see if I need to make any edits or change it. changes. My favorite game is Up, Stop, Down, Go. Up, Stop, Down, Go is a game my teacher plays. When she says up, you put your hands up. And when she says down, I see a mistake. I need to put quotations because it's what she says. And when she says down, you touch the floor. When she says go, you run. And when she says stop, you stand still. Up, stop, down, go is my favorite game. That all sounds really nice. It makes sense. I am going to make one more change, though, because I'm just thinking about how I can make it better. And I'm going to add an exclamation point at the end of this sentence instead of a period because I'm excited about the game. Up, stop, down, go is my favorite game. So now that my draft is all done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go get my piece published and you're going to do the same thing. Good luck.